Okay, so for those of you who uh, have either ordered or owned or think about owning a Westinghouse iGen 4500, uh, either the gas model or the, the dual fuel, fuel like I have here, uh, you know, one of the biggest complaints has been the auto choke cable situation. Um, <clears throat> it seems to dislodge while it's, it's being shipped. And then when people get ready to fire this up on the first go, it doesn't fire up because obviously because the... Uh, the auto choke is not connected or it fires up and it starts to run real bad because the choke doesn't actuate and uh, it remains partially closed while or even completely closed while the engine warms up and thus you start having stumbling and missing and just uh, bad running conditions altogether. Well, <clears throat> on this model, uh, I just recently received this one, I believe about a week ago or so. It's uh, September of 2022 right now. And I'll show you, Westinghouse has addressed the issue um, however, let me show you what they did. It's, it's not really, um, it's not a high tech fix, but I think it's a good enough fix to, uh, control the issue. So let me show you, <clears throat> as I took, uh, you know, watch the videos. It shows you how to, uh, to remove this cover or basically they, the videos say just to, to open it so you can get access underneath. It's, it's just easier for me to remove it and have all the clearance that I need <clears throat> because I'm actually putting on a, um, a uh, drains it right now that's one of the reasons i have this open i haven't started this up yet <clears throat> so i'm doing all the fixes i put in a, a high altitude jet kit because i'm in colorado i'm above six thousand feet so i went ahead and rejetted it before i even run it i just finished that project but i'm also putting on a drains it on my oil uh oil drain right now too to make the oil changes a lot easier so there's videos about this too um <clears throat> This particular one is a drains it. I believe it's an HON 1010 is the model number. Uh, I got this one off eBay for like 25 or 30 bucks and it's worth it to me. Um, I did some videos, um, a little bit, of, uh, a few vi videos about uh, about the drains it. So just take a look at those if you have any questions. But anyway, back to this. Um, this is their fix. So right here, is a connector that was was coming loose. It was coming loose right here, and then pop and moving its way all the way up into here and just hanging out somewhere up in there by the uh, fuel filter. And people were having to fish it back down through here and reconnect it. Well, obviously, now Westinghouse is putting a zip tie. Uh, once they mount the, uh, once they snap everything together, they're putting a zip tie in between on this and in between the wires to hold this connector to the uh, frame here. Uh, so you see they're using zip ties. So like I said, not a high tech fix obviously, but I think it's a, a decent enough fix nonetheless. Um, it looks like they're also might be putting some kind of, um, I don't know, maybe it looks like an epoxy uh, to epoxy the two connectors together and the zip ties. So they're, I think they're trying to make double sure that this, this sucker is not gonna come loose during shipping. And I think that's a decent enough fix. We'll see how well it lasts on the... I'm using it uh, on the cargo carrier of my shuttle bus conversion. So, you know, it'll get some rattles and some moving around and everything. So we'll see how well it handles all that motion. Um, but it looks like a decent enough fix. Like I said, it's it's not a rocket science fix. It's not a high-end high, a high -end fix by any means. But uh, I think it's good enough. We'll see. So for those of you who uh, either, you know, you've ordered and you already have this and you're doing this fix right now, when you go in and you fix it, rather than just, um, you know, connecting the connectors together, you might want to try to put some plastic epoxy or something like uh, like Westinghouse did up there to, to uh, you know, hold the two connectors together. It's, it's rubber and pliable, so it looks like, you know, you could probably scrape it off if you need to dis to disconnect this to service the choke or whatever. But, you know, because it, but it looks like it's good enough to hold these connectors together and then run a zip tie like, like Westinghouse did, you know. Zip tie around and... You know, in between the, you know, two of the wires here uh, and zip tie that sucker shut. I mean, so instead, like I said, instead of when you're fixing this, instead of just putting it together and then rebutting it up and just risking that, you know, working its way loose again, just go ahead and seal it up like Westinghouse does now. You know, it looks pretty good. So anyway, that's their fix. Uh, September of 2022. Um, I don't know when they when they made the fix or what models uh, have this upgrade or this fix or, you know, or not, or if it's. If they're just now starting to do it but just so you know that's what they're doing now and if you got to fix it do it the same way